For today's tip, I'm going to show you an easy way to navigate through your child's various Zoom meetings that they have uh, for a given day of class. So if you're like me, you probably have a list of uh, all of your child's Zoom meeting information. So I have one for math class, I have one for reading class, and within each of those I have an ID and a password that my uh, child's teacher has provided me with. Now some of you may have also received a link from your teacher. Uh, the first part of this video I'm going to show you how to generate those links because the links are the uh, secret piece that we're going to use uh, later on to walk you through uh, creating a list of bookmarks that you can quickly uh, access to navigate between your classes. So one of the frustrations uh, with using Zoom is you have to um, you know, manually type in a meeting ID and a password. If your child's in numerous classes throughout the day, that's going to get really uh, laborious to have to type that in over and over and over again. So what I'm going to do is show you how to actually get the link for a given class. Now, uh, it will take you a couple days, depending upon your schedule that your child has, to gather up all these links. You can also reach out to your uh, uh, specific teachers and ask them to send you the invite link. Um, that's another quick way to get them. But if you're not able to get that information from the teacher, this part of the video will show you how to actually generate those links. So to begin, I'm going to join a uh, Zoom meeting. In this case, it's for my child's math class. So I'm going to go up and join a meeting. I'm going to enter in that meeting ID for the Zoom class. Then I'm going to enter in the password and then click join. Next, I'm going to, after the meeting uh, pops up here, I'm going to click on I. You know, you see where the little I is on the top left. This will always be visible on the top left of the meeting. I'm then going to click on that. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and click on copy link because what we're looking for is this invite link. So I'll click copy. Now just for using this later, I'm going to go ahead and paste this down into my little notebook I have here. So there's my link. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this class because I, I now have what I need out of it. So again, as you go through your child's day, you'll collect up all these various links that you have for the classes. Uh, next, I'm going to show you how to create a bookmark folder so you can put all of the classes into a folder and then you can easily navigate between each of the classes. So let's go ahead and open up Chrome. And on the top right, you're going to see the three dots here. We're going to click on that. We're going to move down to bookmarks and we're going to choose show bookmarks bar. Now from there, I, you may already have some links. I don't have any links in my bookmarks bar right now, but uh, we're going to pick a blank spot and then right click and choose on add folder. And then you can name this something that uh, would stand out to you. So I'm going to call it Zoom Classrooms. I'll click save. Now you can see we have a folder for uh, Zoom Classrooms. Next, I'm going to hover over Zoom Classrooms. I'm going to right click again and then I'm going to choose add page. Now I can go ahead and name this. So I'll call this math. I'm then going to grab that link that I created earlier. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste that right into the URL here. And then I'm going to click on save. So let's pretend that we had some other classes set up already as well. So we'll go ahead and do right click again on Zoom Classrooms, choose Add Page. And let's say we had a reading class set up as well. Again, I'm going to paste that URL, the link. Again, we'll pretend we already have one for the reading class. Paste that in and click Save. So now what we can do is uh, as our child navigates throughout their day, instead of them having to open up Zoom, and type in the meeting ID and type in a password each time, they can simply click in uh, Google Chrome, click on Zoom Classrooms, and then pick the particular class that they need to get into, and uh, it'll take them right into the meeting uh, very quickly. So let's just test that out. I'm going to click on Math. Uh, Zoom is just asking, you know, are you sure you actually want to open the program because it's coming from Chrome? I'm going to go ahead and click Open Zoom. 
And look at that, we didn't have to enter a meeting ID or a password. I was able to quickly get into my uh, Zoom meeting. I hope this really helps uh, your kids quickly navigate throughout their schedule with the day uh, and keep tuned for uh, plenty of other tips and tricks for uh, making your remote learning uh, as easy as possible.